वेलकम टू ब्रेन माइंड इंडिया होम्योपैथी न्यूरो साइकियाट्री क्लिनिक टुडे आई विल डिस्कस ऑन लंबार स्पाइनल स्टेनोसिस कॉमनली नोन एज एल एस एस एक्चुअली आई विल ट्राई टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन कैन मैनेज कैन वेल मैनेज दिस डिजीज लंबार स्पाइनल stenosis a couple of days ago a man aged 53 came to me with narrowing of spinal cord he was having lower back pain he also told several symptoms his leg was aching his leg was having severe weakness and he was having difficulty walking having listened the total case history i diagnosed the case as a lumbar spinal stenosis one important symptom the severe symptom he told me that he was having trouble in bowel evacuation and urination problems having listened this symptom i understood that through differential diagnosis this case is surely a lumbar spinal stenosis now before going to start with the homeopathic treatment protocol i want to make you understand that how this disease is diagnosed actually mechanically it has to be diagnosed computed tomography scan magnetic resonance imaging scan and x-ray having done these things we can diagnose this disease lumbar spinal stenosis i suggested that patient i prescribed medicines for him for a month but before taking medicines i insisted him that as a management procedure he has to do some rest and activity modification he has to do some strengthening exercise stretching exercise along with i told him that he has to take some anti inflammatory foods suppose i can tell you some anti inflammatory foods can relieve pains of lumbar spinal stenosis preferably strawberries cherries which are rich in antioxidant which diminishes the inflammatory conditions of the knee joint and adjacent areas now don't get frightened if you are having lumbar spinal stenosis actually treatment is not simple it's but not a lengthy process i asked the patient regarding management and before coming to my clinic he has already been taking these management procedures what i have told him now in a nutshell as a suggestion i can tell you as i prescribed for him because homeopathy medicine increases the vital force through dynamic medications i prescribed some anti inflammatory homeopathic drugs for him i prescribed some muscle relax relaxants and pain relievers <clears throat> one important medicine for this lumbar spinal stenosis is cuprum metallicum lower potency of cuprum metallicum do not work i prescribed for him 1m potency 1000 potency i asked him to take single dose before going to bed for 15 days besides phosphorus high potency also works well for lumbar spinal stenosis <clears throat> i also prescribed for the time being to relieve pain picric acid 200 if it is taken some subsequent doses for a week pain will relieve immediately and patient will improve within 1 to 2 months after 1 months when that patient came to me for second visit 
he told me that he has been improving gradually and his pain has been reduced 40 to 50 percent next time i prescribed him simsifugo resimosa mother tincture for more relief of the pain and tupra metallicum 1m was continued i asked him to take cupra metallicum sorry i asked him to take semisifuga resimosa mother 20 drops along with half cup of normal water twice a day for a month and i also suggested that he should not take sugary foods and he should avoid processed foods if these medicines are tried by homeopathic physicians who have been practicing neurology they will get result for their patients actually lumbar spinal stenosis is not a surgical disease if it is managed properly in homeopathy patient may get relief and this disease is well managed within four to six months thank you for watching this video take good care of yourself take care of your mental and physical health Thank you.